Now, the news we on has been at the forefront of reportage on the crisis in the Maldives. A few days ago, Maldives uh, President Abdullah Yameen had former president, his own half-brother, Maimoun Gayoum, arrested. Hours later, Mr. Gayoum's son, Faris, was released from prison. Faris Maimoun was the only, please note, only of uh, nine legislators whose release the earlier Supreme Court verdict had ordered. President Kayoum has teamed up with the other former president, exiled leader Mohammed Nasheed and practically the entire opposition to oust the power-grabbing current incumbent Mr. Yameen. Vion was the first to ask questions straight away whether there is a feud within the Gayoum family that is first threatening the family itself and will ultimately fracture the united opposition. The information gathered by Weon from opposition sources, tweets and interviews by the Gayoom family are increasingly fitting into that scenario. Weon's senior foreign editor Padma Rao breaks it down. It was a dramatic night straight out of an action movie. After sending troops into the Supreme Court to arrest judges and occupy the building, power-grabbing Maldivian President Abdullah Yameen sent more soldiers, this time to the residence of long-standing former president, the frail 80-year-old Maumoon Gayoum, and arrested him too. Mr. Gayoum is the half-brother of the dictatorial incumbent Mr. Yameen, but there is no love lost between the two men. A curious thing happened, though, just hours later. The Supreme Court of the Maldives had earlier issued a sensational verdict ordering the release of nine opposition members who had been detained on reportedly trumped-up charges. But immediately after President Gayoum's arrest, his oldest son and fervent supporter, Faris Momoun, was the only of those nine legislators to be released. We on speculated four days ago whether this may be an emotional pressure tactic employed by President Yameen upon his half-brother to dump the joint opposition movement against him and return to the family fold. We reckoned that despite his hatred for Mr. Gayoum, Mr. Yameen would have argued that it was all in the family. But the first cracks became visible after an interview to an Indian daily by Dunya Momoon, Mr. Gayoum's eldest daughter. She lashed out at exiled MDP leader Mohammed Nasheed for appealing to India to send troops along with an envoy to Malay to defuse the situation. She also expressed, quote unquote, understanding for the emergency imposed by her half uncle, Mr. Yameen, in whose government she was a foreign affairs minister. Miss Dunya effectively went against her own father and showed whose side she was on, as far as this family feud is concerned. Sources in the Maldivian opposition told Vion that Miss Dunya Momoon is at loggerheads with the rest of her family, still works for the dictatorial president, her uncle Yameen, and that Mr. Yameen has, quote unquote, leverage over Miss Dunya Momoon. On the other hand, Mr. Gayoom's oldest son, Faris, and his youngest daughter, Yamna, are both supporters of their father, not the current president. Faris was arrested hours after his father's arrest. But whether it was Faris's unwillingness to agree to join hands with Yameen or not, there was soon another surprise and his sister, Yamna, let the world know about it. In a tweet, Yamna Momoon posted a picture of armed personnel and her brother Faris with his back to the camera with the following caption, My brother Faris Momoon arrested again, unquote. Mr. Faris Momoon's lawyer, Mr. Momoon Hamid, too, confirmed the re-arrest. Faris Momoon's lawyer tweeted, and I quote, Faris Momoon arrested for the fourth time just now on very much the same grounds as before, unquote. The rift for now seems within the family of half-brothers, the current dictator Abdullah Yameen and former president Mamoon Gayoum, not within the still united opposition. Long-time Maldives watchers will not forget that President Mamoon Gayoum's own 30-year-long tenure was marked by accusations of torture of dissidents, arbitrary arrests, forced confessions and politically motivated killings. Mr. Gayoum did, however, step down to allow for the country's first democratically elected president, Mohammed Nasheed, to come to power. That is, till Mohammed Nasheed was removed by Mr. Yameen. The elderly Mr. Gayoum may have well changed his stripes and now be refusing to abandon the united opposition. Much water may have flown under the bridge in the previous years. And yet, 
blood will always run thicker than that water. Padma Rao, beyond.